Hey everybody, Pastor Kelly coming at you today. I hope the Lord's blessed you today. And the one blessed me was something on the Facebook. I usually don't do anything with Facebook, but uh, this came along and I, I felt I felt moved to go ahead and read it instead of just passing it around and maybe send it out via voice. Here it goes. A minister passing through his church in the middle of the day decided to pause by the altar to see who had come to pray. Just then, the back door opened and a man came down the aisle. The minister frowned as he saw a man hadn't shaved in a while. His shirt was torn and shabby and his coat was worn and frayed. The man knelt down and bowed his head. Then he rose and walked away. In the days that followed at precisely noon, the preacher saw this chap. Each time he knelt just for a moment, a lunch pail in his lap. Well, the minister's suspicions grew with the robbery a main fear. He decided to stop and ask the man, What are you doing here? The old man said he was a factory worker, and lunch was a half an hour. Lunchtime was his prayer time for finding strength and power. I stay only a moment because the factory's far away. As I kneel here talking to the Lord, this is kind of what I say. I just came by to tell you, Lord, how happy I have been since we found each other's friendship and you took away my sin. Don't know much of how to pray, but I think about you every day. So, Jesus, this has been just checking in today. Now, that old preacher was feeling kind of foolish and told Ben that was fine. He told the man that he was welcome to pray here any time. It's time to go, and thanks, Ben said, as he hurried to the door. Then the minister knelt at there at the altar, which he'd never done before in his own church. His cold heart melted, warmed with love, as he met with Jesus there, and the tears flowed down his cheeks. He repeated Ben's prayer. I just came by to tell you, Lord, how happy I've been since we found each other's friendship and you took away my sin. I don't know much of how to pray, but I think about you every day. So, Jesus, this is me just checking in today. Last noon one day, the preacher noticed that Ben hadn't come. As more days passed, and still no Ben, he began to worry some. At the factory, he asked about him, learning he was ill. The hospital staff was worried, but he'd given them a thrill. The week that Ben was with them brought changes in the ward. His smiles and joy, contagious, changed people were his reward. The head nurse couldn't understand why Ben was so glad. When no flyers, cards, or calls came, not a visitor he had had. While that old preacher stayed by his bed, his voice, the nurse concerned. No friends had come and showed they cared. He had nowhere to turn. Looking surprised, old Ben spoke up and with a wizened smile. The nurse is wrong. She couldn't know. He'd been here all the while. Every day at noon he comes here. A dear friend of mine, you see. He sits right down and takes my hand and leans over and says to me, I just came by to tell you, Ben, how happy I've been since we found this friendship and I took away your sin. I think about you always and I love to hear you pray. And so, Ben, this is Jesus just checking in today. I just got one thing to ask you folks. Have you checked in with Jesus today? He wants to hear from you. He hears every word you pray to him. He hears every thought in your mind, whether you voice it or not. He loves you with unconditioned, no conditions attached. He loves you just to love him back. That's all he asks. And, you know, this this moved me in several ways. Uh, number one is I, I knew I needed to get this out and uh, get it out in voice and rather than print because no one reads anymore, praise God. No one reads the Bible anymore, but they should. But I hope that this might have touched you just a little bit. And if it did, if you can understand the love that this man had with Jesus and this man had for Jesus, 
and how he turned his life around to Jesus and how Jesus was there for him when he was sick. He was sitting there, his only friend in that hospital, as that man was turning folks to him, turning folks to the Lord. His only friend in the hospital was Jesus come there and met him every day. But he never left his side, if the facts be known. But if that helped you and it warmed you and sent them little chill bumps up your neck like it did me as I read it, you might want to look down in the bottom of this subscription box and look at that little sinner's prayer there and read it and discern it and think, see if it's for you. And if it's for you, I, I beg you, I, I do beg you, in Jesus' name, I beg you to, to pray that prayer, talk to the Lord, tell him you're planning on getting baptized, and turn your life over to him. Because, folks, time's short, and it's not getting any longer. It's not getting any longer. I look at the news every day. I put the news out for you every day through Hardway Mountain Ministry. That's what I do. That's what I'm called to do. I'm called to preach the word, and I'm called to show you guys what's going on. So if that helped you just a little, let me know. Leave me a message down there. Leave me a like if you want. Subscribe to my channel. That's wonderful if you do. Praise God. But if you don't, that's fine too. But leave me a message if this helped you. Turn your life around to the Lord. But just remember this. We love you. But Jesus loves you more. He came. He walked. He died. He rose. Just for you. Amen.